is to the team fights. Nemesis constantly zoning away what did, constantly dissuading him from looking for the engagement. Cross going, this could be the last dance. Profit finding a good engage. Reckless locked up. Wadid buying a little bit more time, but he's just instantly deleted. Rocks are bringing multiple numbers back. Profit trying to find anything. Set comes in the middle of the team, but he's just going to get taken out. Triple for Reckless. He wants a little bit more. Can he get anything else in the exchange? The Quadra. I cannot believe it. The Penta kill for Reckless. He is back. Find even more. He needs another auto attack, and the Quadra is found. The heel is popped, and Sneaky will look to chase him down. Hawkwo escapes and denies the Pentakill. Oh boy! But will Cloud9 go all the way? Everyone in! Get up now! Oh, Sneaky, run! Sneaky, go away! Sneaky, Sneaky, what the hell? Sneaky, run away! To really take full control over this one. With the leads they've got through the kills and the farm and the fact that they got the turret first blood, this team is now 3,000 gold ahead and it's letting them make plays like these. Yep, in they go. TSM getting very aggressive. Nice early chunk onto Doublelift. And now watch where Bjergsen throws the bomb. He waits and throws it to where Doublelift has to flash to try to get out. That is 100% the predictive bomb. Beautiful by Bjergsen. And Double game could be TSM's fight as Broken Blade joins. Yeah, he flanks in here with Vladimir, splits the whole team up. A bunch of flashes used there trying to escape. Niski gets back over the wall, second part of his ultimate, has the Paddle Star, and then he's able to go in, finds that flash on the corner of the wall, gets back out. Woo! That's a tilter. Never able to jump that. in like that. <laughs> <laughs> the now coming out, Shinny gonna look to land the Prey Seeker ball with the ulti, but it might not even be necessary. The sidestep though, beautiful from the flash. Gets a bit of damage down, uses oh. the ult. Zero's oh, still alive, goes under himself, makes it out! Oh, I can't oh, believe oh. it! Oh, Saros takes a bot important point of this game, fighting back from a 2,000 gold deficit. And the MVP is a G2. Caps and Wonder must do the work. There's no ultimate for Wonder, so this is going to be hard. He's going to try the dunk going forward. Towards how to be really good damage. Towards the Rise staying alive, finds the roof, flashing back to the pit. All they do is make oh. Oh. oh, no! The smite is early. A kill comes through as well. Make it a second. The solo laners do absolutely Everything for G. Up, they want to go. Looks like IG now the ones on the back foot. Jensen going in, able to buy some time. Xfinity into the back lines. Balon going after the turret, staying underneath it. Not going to be able to find the damage, and he'll be brought down. Jensen goes up, stop as Xfinity swoops in. Flash out for the shot, keeping himself alive against the Cataclysm as Jackie and Rookie make their way into oh, the fight. Oh, beautiful two man stun from Rookie. Double lifts taken out. Xfinity is as well. Eats an enchanted crystal arrow to the face, and Fake has been able to join the fray. Five members of G2 trying to push forward, but the minion wave is getting obliterated. Oh. Oh, no! Massive! Manages to steal the knob! Faker turns around! He hijacks G2's chances! Listen to that crowd as SKT turn it around! Snap right here if you can find the QE. Nice juke by Kath, but will be hit a little bit. Nice little sun comes in. Ult comes in as well. He's got a lot of a player to play around with. They find that first sun, they find some damage, but Ignite means he will get the solo kill to 1v2! And Caps tries it for Jensen! And here comes Mickey! G2 slaughtering Team Liquid! Caps with the monumental! Or a chance for FlyQuest Centaur on the stopwatch. Looking to the re-engages Viper. Some damage coming in, but they are going to force back the Jarvan. And that's a nice wall. They oh, might have no! Oh, no! He had teleport! And Wild Turtle Shell betrays him! ...on this Baron buff, and they could very likely take a second. Limmer for Broken Blade. Blade. Finds the pullback on Centaur, not the stun. They're going to go for the play right now. Fear comes in, finds two. The stun on top! TSM needs, but Viper charges right back in! It's Venomous! Four kills, and the stopwatch stops the reset! So nothing comes through for Pike, it's four for zero! Ultimate has the parkour as well if he wants to get away. Tricked down to half HP already, and Caps just dodges around it all! You cannot catch this man! Odo falls in the side lane, Caps just jumps across the wall. He's still alive underneath the tower, but our game might look for the chase. Once again, Caps buys the time of two members while G2 oh. keeps playing. No. Let's check it out. Oh, Wait, does he walk into it? What is oh my god. god! No way! That's just gross. Cage was going to fit for a play as well, but the knockback is there. Very easy to burst the silence out at this point. They don't want to commit for anything else. The knockup immediately connects. Clean pickup. Mickey now can chase. The Conqueror has been blocked. Here comes Nemesis. Whippo. Trying to push for this play, going to be pretty massive. Mickey not going to be able to grab it to dash through. The EQ flash! He lands it! He goes through. Mickey's feeling himself. He might just find the outplay. The knock goes through. Mickey, I can't believe it. That was clean. Yash 
Yasuo, EQ, flash to extend the range. They have a chance now with these two Infinity Edges. Rapid Fire Cannon, huge for Jensen. Jensen goes in really oh, far, they killed him. and he's killed! What in the hell was that? That was a rapid death, my friend! Plays for C9, so not able to actually go up and respond. And you can see Rift Herald can still be used here. They're going for C8. Oh, look at the damage! Double F's got the killing spree, and Core JJ made it happen. And this could actually be mid lane turret as well. Now Rift Herald gets dropped. They can even threaten to dive oh. from behind. And Double Lift is hitting them with the taunt. It's a game. Yeah, Perch just going there to pick that up. Everything going perfectly for G2 right there. Yes, they lose the flash on Mickey, but Perks with some crucial skill shots was able to stay alive even though he lacked the flash. The question is, can Perks do the same? He does have vision that Hillsang is in the oh, area. For a dive and Fnatic, they want to go mid, not bot. All right, no flash available. Caps is going to need to find some sort of stun or ultimate. He actually just gets chunked out. Oh, Caps. Caps. Take a look at that. The hex oh, is oh, And Caps turns it around. Praise, praise from... The game has felt so big. The lanes are kind of just isolated. No roaming between the two. But Isaris, as soon as that hit... The 13 minute mark, still looking for the return dive. No yeah, cast, but Oddy's in. Coming down. The quickness was there, but it is not enough. Saros now is going to be the dessert. Can they actually grab it? Slow's going to go down for the good of the colony, and Saya misses the Q. Oh, no, Ooh. it's a disaster. Saros with the outplay under the Atatar of bottom lane, and the fadeaway. Away very quickly, but Mammoth. Here for the contest. Yep, they still want this fight. It's not going to be the Baron going over, but can they find a team fight is the question. Oh, what? The Baron down the what? Oh, they're stolen with a Void Seeker! What the hell was that? One health! Why did that happen? Smite, Karma Q misses. Die! Gets another knockout. Finally, one kill picked up. TB's now coming in as well. Barely alive and walking away as Barrel. The jump in. Can't find it. He goes there's double lift. Lift. There's one kill. There's two. Look at oh. the team fight victory! Team Liquid immediately grab four. They're gonna look to end the game perhaps here. They have a mini wave, they wanna finish him. I've seen double and fight mages in mid before. This time he pulls it off with the quadra kill and down mid lane they will go. Even gets to see the recalls, SKT. If they had more pokes, they'd actually be able to stop more from going back. That's the inhib, and he's out of there. Another Wait, no, TP is they're going for more. Oh, they're all going in. It's a triple teleport up into the top side oh, for SKT. They want to win. Uzi's going legendary. He's able to find the kill onto the ground as SKT are now on the Nexus turret. Well, they get the SKT. Let's they play the map right, and they <laughs> find the Nexus. <laughs> The split. How much damage and consistent damage that the Yasuo is able to output. So it's something that CG also have to respect. Do they kill Faker, yes or no, Vedius? No. Okay, let's see what he does. Three on one, four on one, as Cody Sun comes down. The quickness is used already. Faker's got flash available. He dashes. He doesn't even use the flash. And Vedius, you are a god. You call <laughs> it. Faker. Uh, jungle, you saw this fightling go under the brush. They know rookies behind somewhere. When will they find it? What's the play? Forward they go. They might have knocked him down. Puts down the pool, but is there enough go. damage? They're going to try. They ult over the top, and it's already a two for zero. Viper doesn't die, but one finally comes through. It's up to Jackie Love, but he gets stunned. Clutch from Tarzan, but Morgana Viper. can't find it either. Viper stays alive. That's the full pentakill when they... There's a full item behind the rise, and the amount of, you know, tankiness and magic... Uh, oh, they're looking. They are. Clint flashes. That Zonia's hourglass was necessary. Flashes stay safe, and Clint cannot find the target. Kabe is doing so much in this game. There is no. They got the Orn Horde. They're ready to go back for it. Faker is trapped. He's down Flash. He tries to go invisible, but he's he can't get out. Faker had no escape options his flash was down he wanted to re-engage but his team was not there and you could see the frustration his hands are shaking he realizes the consequences of his actions and now it is g2 with the baron buff there we go. i talked about how far he should have pressure Ooh, hang on, we have the the caps doesn't have the six so much damage caps is dead look at the moves look at the plays Vedius. what was that we talked about the level six mark for nuke duck we said that he does that stopwatch to stay alive memento will get dunked down killer instant you oh, it's Miller. he manages to oh my god wall well, those takes on us you go Miller does it gg upset Sorry. never trust talk me again you little that's what you are upset, you little
Uh, you want to go mic check or? <laughs> yes, please put that on mic check. <laughs> but I don't want to see it. I'm like, if you're this fed, use the AOE cannon ult. Be the big team fight. This is a cool call, but it's unfortunately spotted out by a ward. Oh, will Misfits back away in time? Will the fight break out? Teleport is now being used. Sleepy Trouble Bubble will catch Gorilla. And Abadagi's got the paddle star available. Odo and Memento are nearby. They're not pulling off. All right, Abadagi goes in. Look at the damage on the hard sum. He's backing away. There's a million red stacks on the Baron, but the red can't be popped. Memento and Odo, they combo for a triple kill. Baron is still available to be secured. Here comes up set for one. Misfits, they're done. They're dead in the water. And thank you. Kickback needs to come out to stop any further play from happening. Rocket comes in as well, so Jazuke now immediately going to get ulted out by the Rek'Sai here, and the flash comes in, you, you can't, can't flash, flash that. that! It's in the patch notes! Oh! oh comes in, Dreams goes down, this is destruction, Ender. Can we go? I'm basing. I'm built. I'm basing, I'm gonna I didn't get base. I got base. Please, 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 please. I can't stop it, I can't stop it. Keep hitting, keep hitting. You have it, you have it. No! Yes, man! Let's go! Oh! Yeah, I mean, Yasuo is amazing at taking bear, right? Like, he's as good as you want for these. He's essentially melee Cassiopeia take. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God. What did I just say? That's watch? a head scratch off oh, the of Mike Young. Gracious. Sword's not available, but it might not be needed. That's an interrupt. Devastating charge delivers perks into the back line. There goes Faker, chasing down the perks. Perks stays alive for now. Can't find the next act. All of a sudden, though, it's a one for one. Support for AD. Yankos, as well as Caps, get themselves a reply back. Now Cap turns its attention to Khan. Faker's running low. He needs to get some reach. Whoa! He is popped by Caps. Caps is throwing out every single ability and turning his attention to Khan. It's a quadra kill for Caps and G2. G2 Esports hold the line as the rest of SK team out one last defense, but it is not enough. G2 look to equalize the series. 12,000 gold advantage is a dark binding from Mickey. Should just about seal the deal. Caps goes all the way to the steps of the fountain for a pentakill as G2 equalized the series at one to one. And that may ended up getting delayed and the wave got set up in an unfavorable uh, situation. So here we see the arrow. The pings come out actually in darkness. They just have a rough idea of where he is and they set up the play. And at this point they're like, oh, he's fine. Vicky can finish clearing out this ward. But then here comes the, the Tom Kench ultimate to set everything up. What is it about Korean Ash players on the international stage? No one will forget. Praise heroics in the 2016 World Championship, the semi-finals. Okay, I have Rachel, I have Rachel. We get the Rachel. Go, 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 <laughs> oh, the Shine Rookie. It's for your oh, highlights, guys. It's for your highlights. Yeah. It's just for your highlights. It was worth. Now we can end, maybe. He survives the 2v1. And round three, let's see what it, what can happen this time. Teleport coming down from Attila. And Jack And Prophet will be able to jump down. Prophet throws out the Cataclysm. Repel up, repel down. Prophet in a 4v1 is still surviving. He goes golden, buys enough time. Vitality, how can you mess this up? It's a four versus one. Prophet's not done. The golden ages as Moolite arrives. Rogue, that was amazing. It's not done. Gorilla with the flash will but doesn't have really any other options. We take a look back at the play, and I like the thought here. Oh, did he? Oh, oh, oh. no. Oh. Oh, no. I take it back. I take it back. Bevan, that was not your fault. Gorilla observed. And Bjergsen lost half his HP. He now doesn't have his ulti available. Arjun now pushing in mid, top, and bot. They have their eyes set on the Nexus. Nuke Duck going into the back line. Looking to find that initiation. Mithy goes unstoppable. TSM goes down. Origin have chased the remaining three members into the fountain. Looking to clean up even more kills. Bjergsen wants to grab one, but he won't be able to find it. And this gives room for Yankos to actually walk into the topside jungle because he saw so many members and uh, 
That's a peculiar strategy. Core JJ going for the early turret plate damage. Okay, so he, uh, let me check. It's not just for damage. You get Spell Thief's money. True. I learned this on Double Lift stream that uh, he was encouraging Core JJ to go for it multiple times. 33 gold. <laughs> and this time around, since they five person invaded on bottom side, you legit get enough gold for your control ward. And surprisingly, he's really good in that position. So I'm excited to see it. Back to you guys. And they're trying to deny the blue. Oh, <laughs> he flashed for it. <laughs> yes. Madman. I love it. Oh, that's the best. Playing Rome, looking fish for these plays. I like, though, that Misfits are grouping up. Yeah, I mean, what Misfits need now is time, right? So you just have to have more members. You, you can never be outnumbered because then you absolutely lose. Max Lord, he doesn't. Uh, uh, hello? 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 Be there, Dragon, but here this is one more time. So watch the health on contracts. Contracts getting lower and lower, and then just waiting for the cooldowns. The Q alt flash straight in onto contracts, and he just gets erased. Viper showing off those ribbon mechanics. And that death on their jungler means CSM likely will take the Baron here, though. Cloud9 is moving over. They want to look to fight here. Sneaky healed up off the Grom. Zazel nearly getting one tap by the Varus. Niski's in some trouble. That's gonna be Varus secure by the side of he's the Cloud9. Now he's able to find the fight. Sneaky's damage is monstrous, but Broken Blade's able to shut him down. The follow-up damage is there from Niski, and Smoothie will gobble up his teammate over the wall as Kumo oh, shot to go unstoppable. And hoping they can find some way safely into Baron control. Yeah, you're kind of wondering how is Hunter Thieves going to find a fight. They're trying with the Sivir and Aatrox all through right now to get Niski. They're going to try for him right there. Vanquish will flash away. Not going to be hit by this deployment. Oh. A big stun given across. Means the reason that after moves, days are numbered. Fisker finds that first kill. Cannon over the top finds two more stuns. In comes Ryu trying to build some space, but Zazel has the second kill already. Amazing's going to drop for the third. It's four kills and only Bang is left alive. The rest of the squad, though, already dead. That's going to be some damage here to Monte. Has to be a bit respectful as Ken. Okay. Tom Ken's coming over. Knock up those. This is a four versus three right now. Team is coming in for a bit more. Nice stun on the Vulcan. Here comes Lyra now as well. Four versus four. As the rest of the squad comes in, it's actually all on TSM, but a good equalizer to buy some space. Bravo builds a lot as well. Oh, they're getting roasted. They're the front line. They are burning down. Look at the team fight. Bjergsen's gone as oh well. Oh, my God. An A4 clutch. That was a team-wide Kiana ultimate. Life team up like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Or even just watching Mad Life do work on Thresh again. Yeah, 2 zero, 4 Here we go. Shy. This is definitely not the fight that he wants. Oh, I asked and Baker <laughs> delivers into the play. That oh. is synergy. That was time to reset and we'll get into the final battle. Ranked World puts available. Gunblade done. Black Cleaver and the Red Elixir. This is what you pop the Elixir, by the way, because it will last longer than Sudden Death itself. So pop the Elixir, Yanko. Elixir finally puts it down, missing some damage, but goes for the oh. Snowball. This is the fight that's going to end it all, and it's... Oh, he oh. got it! <laughs> it's enough for Yanko! The dunk was heavy enough. I on this, the charm comes out, it's Warlight, he's caught, and he jumps away, he doesn't live to survive another day, Larson needs to open up, needs to do the damage, but he's down as well, and now it's all on Finn, trying to catch out Tricky, stun locked, he goes golden, Amadage has the damage, if they can keep Finn away from the Corky, now he's going to run away, but he goes back in, looking for Ignar, heals up, the Infernal Chains don't quite connect, Amadage is still there, he's locked up as well, but Trick comes in with the Arctic Assault, and it's Finn, he's doing it all, and it's Finn, he's 17 years old, and he is carrying this fight. It's Finn! It's Finn once again! It's trying to deal with the LeBlanc, but it's a double for Deadly. Ronaldo nowhere near the fight. And what was the play coming we out there? can't restart. We're part way through a series. <laughs> yeah, Windows, leave us alone. <laughs> because of the near one shot coming out from Litzer, used his ult. We'll get a replay off this. So I think he ulted to try and survive, but it was, I mean, it was just way too late. It was just way too late. I think he, maybe he thought there was a, an ignite bin on him. I'm just, I'm questioning a lot of things, but I laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Nemesis though, now he's the one in trouble. The slow does connect. Faker willing to go right back under tower. Whoa! Nemesis! Nemesis just smashes Faker! 
ultimate to allow the rest of his team to follow up was monumental. They now have all five members alive. They are TPing into the base. Three members of Schalke are dead. Rogue are going to take to match point. And so many times we credit uh, Schalke with having excellent team fighting, but Rogue had beat them at their own game. Odo's Expertly almost got done. Out. Odo's almost got out. He's got flash as well. He's looking to jump in. He gets onto Wally, and it might not be over yet because Wally's dead. Rogue and Finn will take the tower. It's on Inspired and Finn to try and do this. I was there jumping away.